Hello, people who are not me, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Colors. I am Sire Goku. We're still here in Planet Wisp. Uh, not for very much, not for very long though, because there's only two levels left to go. And judging by how things have been going on these, on Act Three and Four, uh, let's move on to Act Six. More jazzy music. And we start off grinding! And I didn't jump fast enough. Well, that sucked. There we go. Boom, boom, zoom, hooray! Now this is more like it. Such speed, much dash pad, wow. <laughs> there we go. Get up there, you. There we go. Let's get that hover power, shall we? Because chances are I'm probably going to need it. <laughs> Except uh, it would help if I actually jumped for it. Much better. Okay, yeah. Usually... You're going to want to use the wisps they give you. So now that you have Hover Wisp, you might as well use it. There we go. And they're going to give you another Hover Wisp up here. So go for that. Yeah, that makes things go by a lot faster. Now you can... Now we got the Spike Wisp. Granted, that just makes me go all the way back here, but hey, anything that gives me free rings, I'm okay with. So let's go this path, shall we? If you say so, game. <laughs> Oh, thank God. That gives you just like this wide open look at what the rest of this level is like, and it's like, oh man, there's a lot. <laughs> I believe this is the part, I believe this is the major segments that they chose to use for Sonic Generations. Which I can kind of see why they would do it. I can also see why some people would be frustrated by that. Because instead of the you know, more pretty aesthetic looks that they went for. They decided to go with the more mechanical segment, <laughs> which I guess most people found to be the boring segment. <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually have Sonic Generations, so I don't remember. <laughs> I'd have to look up a playthrough of it. <laughs> I should get Sonic Generations. I know if Sonic Generations is just a love letter to Sonic fans, but eh. From what I've seen of it, it's good.
It may not be perfect, but it's a Sonic game. It plays like a Sonic game. It looks like a Sonic game. Okay. Depth perception, don't fail on me here, please. There we go. Now that wasn't so hard. There we go. I was making that a bigger deal than it should have been. That was just more of a vertical climbing section, that's why. <laughs> No one-ups today? Nah. Oh well. Not a big loss. <laughs> In fact, we should be getting up to the boss now. Hooray! <laughs> and there's the generator. It seems like these guys are getting harder and harder to find. For a fact, these guys are getting harder and harder to beat. Please remember, all planets in Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park are, as far as you know, wholly owned properties of Eggman Enterprises and its subsidiaries. All unauthorized photography, video reproduction, or shutting down of generators is strictly prohibited. Thank you! Eggman, I am going to save this planet, and I am going to free these aliens! No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! We can save a lot of time and broken robots if you just quit now! <sighs> you try to be reasonable... I'd go for the obvious joke, but every, re but every Let's Play of this game has already done that joke. So no, I'm not going for it. <laughs> now we have the exact same boss that was from Tropical Resort, essentially. A little bit harder because... You know, now you have to use the Spike Wisp. But hey, one hit and it's dead. <laughs> I say it's a little bit harder and I just took it out in two hits. <laughs> yes! That is how bosses in Sonic Colors are supposed to go! Booyah! Booyah! That is how you do it, me! Four up! All the extra lives I lost in this in this world completely erased in a matter of seconds. Holy shit! <laughs> wow! Sometimes I even impress myself. For a second there, I wasn't sure I was going to pull it off. Well, who am I kidding? We both knew how this would end. Uh, are you talking to the broken robot who can't hear you? Uh, maybe. That's between me and the robot. See, the important thing here is the alien planet is free. Absolutely. So, we can just forget about the whole talking to dead robots thing, right? Nope. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> well, come on. I've seen you save the day a lot of times, but I've never seen you talk to a pile of metal. Touché. Jesus, Tails. Must you be a douchebag? Must you be a douchebag, Tails? I mean, come on, it's bad enough already. Anyway. You know, this might be a slightly shorter episode because... You know what? No, I'm not going to go on to another world for now. 
But I can show up. I am going to show off Game Land. Because I promised a friend of mine that he could co-commentate because he wanted to be there when we did the last co -com when I did the co-commentary with Advanced Logic, and he couldn't, unfortunately. So he said he would join for the next world that I'm going to go for. So I will forego the next world and show off a level of Game Land. Now, what you're doing in Game Land is you have to race this time. Is they're all time trials. All the stages have, like, remixed chiptune music of the other stages. Like, this one is, uh, Tropical... This one's Tropical Resort. Um... So yeah, it's basically just a whole bunch of small mini games you can do. Get you some free rings and extra lives and stuff. So far I've only gotten enough rings to unlock the first stage. But there's more to it. Like this, and now we got Sweet Mountain. Like 8 bit Sweet Mountain, which is pretty nice. Yeah. Buzz Bombers, screw you. There we go. But essentially, so basically, what Game Land is, you have to. is you're just going through. like miniature obstacle courses which isn't too hard really they get harder as the stages progress of course but like right here you can get crushed by things but as long as you're s as long as you're careful you shouldn't get hit by anything I mean, the, the red orb thing that you're racing is pretty dang slow. <laughs> but then, yeah, if you get crushed, you do die. <laughs> Which means you gotta restart from the checkpoints. That's why there are checkpoints and you have extra lives. Blah. <laughs> I don't really have much to say about these levels, really. <laughs> and I could not make that jump. Well... Well, you're gonna get to see the game over screen. Good job, me. I fail. <laughs> but yeah, that's Game Land. I don't count that game over because these were the special stages. So yeah. This is why I'm not trying to get all the... You do... In order to unlock more stages, you need to keep getting red rings. And... So yeah, you'll get Super Sonic for beating all the special stages. So that's how you... So there you go. If you want to get Super Sonic, get every red ring in the game, and go to Game Land and beat all the... and beat all the mini-games in Game Land, and then you can get Super Sonic. This is why I'm not doing that. It takes forever. <laughs> so there. <laughs> and now... now... And now Game Land doesn't have beady red eyes of death here. <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna move on so next time we're gonna move on to 
Yep. Well, I'm going to move on to Aquarium Park, and like I said before, I promised my friend Muigi01, who was going to be in on the commentary with me and Advanced Logic in Starlight Carnival, that he could join in for this. So, see you guys for that, once I get a chance to record it for us to commentate over. See you guys then.